Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and so much more as we go down a rabbit hole. Now, today you got Miss Jaguar Wright going in on your boy 50 Cent. Now, I've always wondered about this myself. We're going to get to the video in a second. But I'm wondering why he's been so vocal, considering that he may possibly have some skeletons in his closet because he's in this same industry. But I guess he was allowed to do what he did for a while. But now we got Miss Jaguar. She about to tell y'all some things. Uh, listen, I ain't going to talk about it no more. Let's get to it. And then we're going to talk about it afterwards. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Please like the videos, man. We're working hard over here at Media Mesh. Let's go. Peace. This is Jaguar. Jaguar, what's happening with you? Oh, not so much. Uh huh. You're a busy man. I'm a busy man. You're a busy woman. Talk to me. That phone line must be gone, boy. I, that was this was gonna be my last time calling back. Yeah, oh. no. Somebody came through my chat earlier uh -huh. this morning, and they told me about this unfortunate situation with Dane and um Curtis. Facts. Cause um, you know, and it's wild because. Everybody is so quick to laugh, and, mm -hmm. and the truth is, is it, it's it's good TV when you see one of our heroes snatch down a peg or two. Somebody that can't nobody check. But this is what I find funny: nobody's paying attention to the fact that all of this is now happening while Dame is dealing with the feds and the sale of Rockefeller and his shares and all of this stuff. Correct. It, I just find it funny that this whole, ooh, let's laugh at Dane business is, is popping out now in the middle of all of this. And nobody's paying attention to the fact that once that sale is done, he's going to be able to expose real things about Rockefeller. He, he might not have been able to say before, mm. but so you want to embarrass him and you want to get him offline. Who really gives a shit whether or not he's wearing false teeth or not? I tell mm. you what he's not wearing that's false, his character. Mm. Let's talk about See, it. regardless of what them teeth is, what's going on with the teeth and all of that stuff, Dame Dash's character is, it, it's just, it, it is. His mm -hmm. word is both. Now, 50, mm -hmm. or should I call him Mr. Jackson, the, the, the fabulous interior designer. Mm. I wanted to come here to say this with MREC today because we we supposed to be talking and catching up and oh, yeah, some facts. things out in the backdrop. Facts. But I just wanted to stop through number one and say to the audience, thank you for all of the well wishes. Thank you for all of the good things you had to say. Um, and for those who hate me, you. Mm -hmm. And um, everything I'm about to say about 50, you, you can take that for yourself as well. Curtis Jackson is the biggest latent homosexual I've ever met in my life. Damn. Shots fired. He is a, he is pure treat, and he's a hell of an interior designer. Mm. The only thing Fifty can do for me is buy me a couch because he is great taste. Mm. You should be working for Home and Gardens, Curtis, rather than going down to Shreveport, Louisiana, a place that I love, that has become one of my homes, where I have roots. While you're sitting there making a mockery of that town. And I'm going to tell you this, 50. I'm going to be in Shreveport sooner than later. And I'm going to go down to Millennium Studios, which you're now calling G-Unit Studios, where you're dumping all that toxic waste. And I'm going to kick you in your nuts myself. And we're going to see what pop out of your mouth. We're going to see what pop out of your mouth, Curtis. Stop. Stop doing the dumb you got hit with the C&D, you had to stop going in on Diddy. You got hit with another C&D, you had to stop going in on Jay-Z. So now you decide you going to find a way to jump on Dane? Mm. You a punk. Why don't you tell everybody everything you done with Soldier Boy? And Man. I'm not saying allegedly. I know you was f***ing that little boy, and you was sitting there gripping him up on X Double XXXL Magazine and still want to pretend like you ain't a swish. You want to talk about somebody? You want to laugh about mm -hmm. something? Laugh about how many young boys and old you been in? Damn. And anybody who thinks this cute, this ain't nothing but a who was trying to find his way to steal the whole thing after everybody gets arrested so he can become the new toll 
in the industry so he can become king of the Sluminati? You, Curtis. Damn. And since you're so busy running around, take your shots at everybody. Please, this man here on this platform has over 300,000 subscribers. Somebody go tell Curtis Jackson that I'm running down on his whole sexual history right now and mm. have something to say to me. Don't get a blogger to come after me. You say it, Curtis. Damn. You want to laugh at somebody? Laugh at that. So better yet, laugh at that bad case of herpes you probably got. But that diddy do I bop. That diddy sit right over to you, you dumb. Now, don't Jack, be sitting here looking for somebody else to clown on because Daphne got you in a situation because Daphne's being called in the court and she's probably going to have some real shit to say about you, Diddy. Now, Jack. All that time you spent in jail and people supposed to believe you wasn't getting your meat wank. Much as you like running around with your shirt off and your sexual proclivities, I truly doubt it you were a monk in jail. Weirdo. And, and that's really all I have okay. to say. No, no, no. Look, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak your piece. Shout out to Dame Dash. But I want to know where's this energy coming from with 50 Cent? Did he. Uh... I've been tired of him. Okay. I've been tired of him. Mm. I've okay. been tired of him. See, for a mm -hmm. second there, I thought Curtis was actually trying to do the right thing. Mm. He just want to take it all from uh, thing one and thing two, Sean one and Sean two, so he could be the new asshole. Mm. You want to go after somebody, you want to laugh at somebody, find one of those you run around with. Mm. And stop trying to turn little young boys down the street for trying to get some loyalty. Because I promise you, I got more loyalty in those streets than you ever will, no matter how much money you spread around, Curtis. Yeah, I got problems with him. Came down to Louisiana making mm -hmm. all kinds of problems. Had me followed. Oh, wow. Right before I got arrested last year. Yeah, until he ran up on my boys, Goose and Doc. Oh, yeah, down at the bike shop where they almost beat out of that goddamn investigator you had trying to figure out how to get ahead of me so you could take control in Shreveport. Mm. Louisiana is Louisiana, and I promise you this, it will always be loyal to Louisiana over money. Period. You ain't scared. You better watch your ass in Shreveport, because I know all the bayous that be right there by where you be by. Keep fucking with me, Curtis. All right. <clears throat> well, you heard it there. She said, bullets squeeze by you like Louisiana, man. You know, wow. So here we are again. Now, mind you, I'll just take a quick pivot because her son was talking with Tasha K. So I'm sure y'all probably seen that video. This is a very complex situation um, because obviously a lot of things she says about the industry is accurate. You know, she's been spot on. Now, I don't know what type of gangster she got uh, down in Louisiana. Uh, one thing about her, man, she everywhere. She know everything. I don't know how she had this innate ability to just know everything. Like she, I'm sure she got dirt on Michael Jackson. She know what he was into. She just know everybody. So she did a good job. I guess she was a spy, you know, um, unbeknownst to herself, you know, but she was definitely clearly a sponge. You know, she was able to be in the right rooms and the right places at the right times to see the things that took place. And, you know, I believe due to her not having the success that she probably desired that gave her the opportunity to just say, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to tell it all. And that's exactly what she has done. So that's what her take on 50 cents. So this is going to be interesting because he is quick to sue. I still never forget when he sued Tara Marie for that $50,000 knowing full well, she didn't have it, but he still was that petty to do it. And I think she has a point of course, with these two clowns out the way, now he can come in, he got the movie thing going on, and so he can step right in and become the number one black mogul. But I don't think that's going to happen. We don't need no more of these Negroes, all right, promoting this foolishness and making money capitalizing on black folks. That day is over. Hollywood is done. Next time, peace and blessings.